Oh, so you should know who I am. And I'm not in the Chevy SS. I just decided that I was going to do an update to sort of have something to fucking post to YouTube finally about my fucking car situation. So, the last we spoke, my car was a lemon. My car now has a new engine in it, and we're just trying to get the last bit of issues sorted. I was having an issue with the garage that my car is at. They seem to not to like to communicate important shit. So today, I showed up. Because the manager dude told me I could come see my car whenever I wanted to. Right? So I showed up today because I wanted to see my fucking car. It's been two months. I wanted to see the progress that was done on my car. Lo and behold, they started getting mad that I was pissed the fuck off that they did not tell me that they moved to a completely different shop. And I'm just sitting over here and I get over there, it's freezing cold. It's like 40 some degrees outside. It's raining, almost snowing. And I pull up to this shit, it's completely empty. And the other thing is that I don't have a car, so I have to waste Uber money to get over there. So it's 15 up, 15 back. It's 30 dollars, I just wasted to go over there for fucking nothing. You're damn right, I'm gonna feel some type of way about you wasting my money. But after we exchange words, and they decided that they no longer want to work on my car. I've been waiting to actually get my car away from them for a minute if they couldn't do the fucking job. So it's just like, all right. At first, I was a little miffed because <laughs> I'm calling around all these places and nobody wants to touch my car. Why? Because my car seen as a project car. If you tell them that your engine had an issue and another dealership was or another garage was trying to fix it, but I didn't like what they was doing and they took too long. The place that disassembled my car, took my mufflers off, didn't want to take it back and deal with this shit. Sent me an email saying, we're sorry that your project isn't going smoothly, but we have no interest in working on your car. And it's like, all right, I get it. You're a little, you're probably still emo about the two-star review you got when you chopped up my car and pulled my exhaust off for no reason. That's fine. RPM said they didn't want to work on my car. I get it. Nobody wants to clean up somebody else's mess and figure out what the fuck they did and didn't have to put your, uh uh insurance or warranty to back that work that's been done so i get it but it's like all right it's cool so i managed to i called a bunch of places i managed to find a place that my car could go to only problem is i have to wait till the 12th <coughs> <coughs> so my car will <coughs> be making it from <coughs> wherever it is <coughs> <laughs> to Houston, Texas at 12. And I might be taking a road trip. So we have to decide if we want to go get it or if we want to have it uh, uh, transported back. It depends on how much it costs to go get it. Because me, I'm thinking that we might as well just go get the shit and drive it the fuck back. But then that's a, almost 1,200 extra miles I got to put on the shit. But it hasn't been driven October November, December, January, February, March, April, May. So my car hasn't been driven in seven months. So I guess it can afford to put the miles on it. But yeah, as you can see, I'm in there. Cord. This fucker is completely dead. Putting the key in it does. I'm going to give it a crank. Teddy bear. <laughs> bitch dead. That <laughs> bitch dead. But yeah, I just ordered the alternator for this thing. Uh, later, I'm going to come back out. I'm going to pull the battery out of this bitch. I'm going to take the battery upstairs. I'm going to revive the battery fully since I have a, the uh, tender for my car. It, re it revives batteries. So I'm going to revive the battery out of this car. We're going to get the alternator either put in by garage. We're going to try and do it ourselves. And then we're going to revive this car because this whole being without shit is not working. Because I need to be able to do my job. It just sucks that out of all the people that I thought were cool, I have to go to a, a garage that I don't know, but they are highly mentioned in being able to figure stuff out and get you back on the road. And they can tune and do all the stuff there. So my car goes there. It doesn't go anywhere else. And then it will come straight back to me. And then my problem should be fixed right before the two-year anniversary of me owning this fucking car. How cute, right? But that's it for me.
I just wanted to give y'all a small update. My Chevy SS is almost back. It would have been nice if the place that had it could have did the job, but it's just like, is that gray hair on my face that I'm seeing? Am I getting old? I'm so stressed out over this shit. I'm actually starting to grow gray hair. Is this is this what the fuck I'm seeing? No. Oh! oh god, they got me stressed out in this bitch. I didn't even know I was actually starting to show gray hair. I'm trying to be 17 forever. What the fuck? But yeah, this is your boy reflecting on this debauchery that is my car and my life. I haven't worked since fucking March, the end of March. So it's been a month. I've wanted to get back to work because it's boring. And I, I need to get shit paid for it. And I wanted to go to DJ Envy Car Show. That shit's at the end of May. It's on the 28th. And it's like, I'm pushing it real hard if I want to go to that shit. Because I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be trying to have, because I don't even know if I can even get tickets to that shit. That's the thing. Like, they ain't responding. I don't know if they're going to actually send nobody no tickets. I'm just going to respond and say, my car has to go to, I'm going to send them another email saying my car has to go to Texas to get fixed. And it should be returned to me, like, right, right before this show or this uh, uh sh event is supposed to pop off. I would love to make it because I haven't been able to do anything with my car, but I kind of doubt it. Guess we'll see.